what is up everyone welcome back to Fuzzy's action reaction videos today I'm doing something a lot more different um, I'm not gonna be doing a reaction video I'm actually gonna be um, having a chat so I, I wanna I wanna talk to you guys you know I wanna give um, you know a, a part of my story you know um, to you guys to, to sort of um, give you guys an idea on what I'm about and and who I am and why I'm doing these videos um, so for anyone who um, is only just tuning in and for you know for all of you who have subscribed and um, viewers and 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 such um, I'm I'm, uh, I'm doing these YouTube videos um, you know to sort of uh, get my story out to, to help people um, that have been in, mo in the same situation as myself um, that I had to struggle through in my past you know um, just uh, kind of be that voice to, to, to help them you know get through you know the, the bottom of it and, and just be able to you know move forward in their life um, and I hope that getting my story out there will help. Um, but um, but also on my channel, I'm, I'm not always going to do reaction videos, you know, because um, that's why I, I made it for these action reaction videos. You know, it's going to be a little bit of action and a little bit of reaction. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing some um, skip videos with my partner also and some friends of mine and, you know, um, also, you know, talk... Um, give you uh, pages of, of my life you know and my life experiences to to um, how I got to where I am today so you know um, there's something um, I felt like I needed to do you know my partner's been telling me that I have a story to get out there and and you know my story could could you know help you know one person that could help the next and the next and so on etc so yeah that's uh this is why i'm here <laughs> you know i never wa i didn't want to do youtube i i was a bit nervous to do this especially to talk to a camera on your own but you know as as things you know progressed on i, I sort of started to to get comfortable with the camera and and comfortable with myself because as if you guys haven't um known um i actually <laughs> um, I'm actually really um, shy, camera shy as well, and uh, I I've have a very shy personality. Um, you know, I've got a really low <laughs> self confidence, um, and my partner keeps telling me that I shouldn't have to. But um, yeah, it's it's something that I'm working on, and um, and I I, I guess I'm getting better. So you know um. Yeah, so about this story, um, without further ado, let's just get into it, eh? So let's go! Um, it's, it started back uh, in my teens. So I haven't told my family members, my mum, my father, my brothers, my sister, my relatives, friends of mine that are really close to me. I have not told a soul um, about my issues in the past and I think that's something that's just kind of held me back a bit and and I'm getting work on it you know I'm, I'm currently seeing um, a psychiatrist and, and some counsellors so I'm, I'm building my life back you know but um something I, I, I've kept inside of me for so long that I probably wished I had spoken up about when I was younger is and I apologize to any of my family members that are watching this um, but I I had really bad I would say severe anxiety and depression when I was younger I never told my family members I never told my mother or my father about this so for anyone that knows me that is watching this I'm sorry that he's only hearing about this now 
Um, only person I've ever told is only recently, and that's when I've just started to get help. Is my partner, and I I think my other reason is that I kind of owe it to her too for pushing me to go see someone to get help. So you know, a, a few years back, you know, my partner started to notice changes in me that that she could notice that I wouldn't even think of even. I'm noticing myself or anybody else, but she started. She started to see a change in me that that made her question um, what was going on in my life and and what's happening. So I, me, as me being myself, um, of course I denied it, uh, and I would deny it all the way through. But I think it just got to the point where she just wasn't having it so I think you know this is where this has all you know come crashing in you know when she asked me to go get help and I got help and I and I was openly honest to her about it I think I I, I had enough of myself running from this problem for so long and this problem taking over over me um, but I thought it I thought it was time time to heal so back to what I was saying when I was younger, starting from my teens, I was about 13, I think I started to to have really bad anxiety and depression. And I was, I was having a lot of depression about myself. I used to I used to bash on myself I used to call myself a failure I used to feel like a failure and I I, I just always thought I was nobody you know when I was when I was younger, as, as silly as it sounds, I used to think to myself so many times that if I had gone missing or if I had disappeared in the face of the earth, nobody would even care. I used to tell myself that nobody would even know. That's how invisible I felt. So, as time went on, you know, I would have friends come and go. I still have really close type friends now that I haven't spoken to in quite some time because of my situation in the past, but who I'm gradually talking to recently and it feels good to even know that they were still there you know I owe it to them for standing by my side always you know it wasn't easy growing up for me and I guess at school you know I, I was always I was always the quiet shark at school. You know, my my brothers, my brothers were my brothers were always the talk of the topic. You know, they're a lot broader and bigger than I am. <laughs> Being the oldest, I became the smallest. <laughs> How did that work? But 
It always affected me. They didn't know about this, but being the smallest of all my brothers affected me a lot. I felt like I was an outsider. I always used to say to myself that, that I was the adopted one. I was always uh, the lone one. As much as it was good to be in my family, and my family are great people, it was the issues within myself that made me feel like I was different from them and I guess not telling them about my issues you know, always made me feel like that they look at me differently they see me differently because I'm, I'm not like them I don't know but Growing up in my family was hard, you know, for me personally, because I had these issues, you know, hanging over my head, and I did not tell anybody, and I only didn't tell anybody about my anxiety and depression because I didn't want anybody to treat me differently or think of me differently or judge me because I was, you know, mentally ill. Mental health is a serious, a serious thing. You know, and I've denied it. I've denied that I've had any mental health problems for so long until a couple of years ago and I felt like I couldn't I could have gotten help beforehand you know I'm I'm turning 40 next year in January and it's taken me until the age of 29 to snap out of this shit and that was the year I got locked up I was incarcerated at the age of 29. And I was incarcerated for seven and a half years. You know, um, when you, when you get out at the age of 36 that's out of all this all the out of all the prison time that I've that I have had to serve and if I was to put that together I would say I've lost half of my life I've wasted half of my life for what? Because I didn't speak up, which led myself to a drug addiction, a heavy drug addiction that also led me to homelessness, a homelessness that led me to to begging. You know. I became homeless because I didn't feel like I was worth I didn't feel like I was worth enough to be with my family I was I did not feel like I was worth it enough to be with my family that's how that's how bad my mental health state was at that point 
I felt like I didn't deserve to be with my family. I felt like my family deserved more than me. But you know, so homelessness, you know, became an issue for me and. It was an issue for quite some time, and it took me a while to, to, get, to get myself out of that rut, you know, and with the help of my partner today, you know, she helped me get back on my feet, and, you know, and for all the, for all the jail sentences I've served in the past, I can tell you now, for anyone that's going to revolve themselves, for anyone that's going to involve themselves around any crime, don't. Because I can tell you now, the moment you get busted, you're going to have that name on you for the rest of your life. I've had to struggle having the criminal label on, on me for as long as I can remember from my first offence I was a criminal to everyone and I was an addict and I was a bum and with all those things you know, I had to thieve. I had to thieve to feed and support my addiction. And, you know, I feel like if I had just gotten the help that I did, if I had just spoken up about my issues in the past, I probably wouldn't have gone down that path. But then again, I'm sitting here thinking to myself, if if I hadn't gone down that path, I wouldn't be here talking to you guys. You know, I want to be a voice to those out there that are struggling in the streets, uh, homelessness, drug addiction, or even with family issues, and you know, with self-confidence and not having any self-esteem about themselves you know love yourself be yourself and always stay true to be you that's my saying you know i've come a long way to loving myself and to being myself and to being comfortable in my own skin and to be able to be comfortable to talk to people about my problems and if it wasn't for any of those issues that I've gone through in the past and my partner pushing me to do this when I didn't want to do this you know I give it all to confidence she's given me the confidence you know to actually be myself and do this to be able to get my story out so I can help anybody out there that's that's been through the same situation that I've been through in my past you know listen for anyone that gives you to advice about where you're you know where you're heading in your life and 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 what path you, you've chosen listen to your family really listen to your family because I wish I could have you know I've um, come a long way from being where I am to to who I am today and today of, of everything I have been through um, I can say now that I'm two years clean I'm more than happy I've never been more happier in my life living a normal living in a normal society of life 
being normal out in the community you know getting up in the mornings and and you know doing your daily you know lists and chores and what you need to do I, I'm you know what I've never been so so excited to even do normal things in the house in my life <laughs> and I enjoy these things you know and I enjoy doing things with my partner we go out and we have lunch and dinner and and I'm enjoying all the things that I've missed out in the life that I've wasted now for any of the youngins and teens out there that are listening please listen to the ones that love you listen to the ones that are closest to you that are really trying to reach out to you for all the right reasons you have to hear, hear them you have to listen out to them because I can tell you now all it takes is for one little slip up for you to have that all taken away from you and it it, it will not end greatly for you so you know I hear kids out here talking about yeah I'm going to jail oh yeah when I'm in jail I'm you know I'm so cool because I went to jail you know and seriously snap out of it jail is not cool man seriously and believe me you know from my experiences of being in jail all the young ones that have that had all the all the teens that have come in there you know that have been there for the first time that have all this talk about going to jail and stuff I'm telling you now they're, they're shitting themselves so why are you out there even talking about oh yeah jail's cool this and that because jail ain't cool jail is nothing but a place that they keep for people who have done extremely wrong by the law you know I've had to come a long way from you know from um, becoming you know a, a criminal you know I, my criminal background has taught me you know a lot of things a lot of things and that is that and that is to always stick to those that are trying to you know that are only trying to um, mean well for you that are only telling you things that that mean well for you and always listen to those that that love you most and that are closest to you because they're the ones that care not the friends that hang around and get you in trouble the ones that actually reach out and tell you that no this is not right you know this is not okay you know why are you doing this because they're the ones that actually care they're the ones that love you you know so you know that's that's where I'm at at the moment so this is why I'm doing this channel and I want to be able to speak out and and pass on my past experiences about what you know what what I've been through and what I've had to go through and to to where I'm at today so you know I'm in a good place I can say I'm in a really good place now you know I have my partner close to me she's always st stood by my side her daughter you know I'm really close to her daughter and you know I always treat her like my own I'll always treat her like my own and you know what life couldn't get much better like if anything it can only get better from here on 
So just just have a think about it, guys. You know, like for anyone out there that's struggling, don't be, you know, quick to to turn turn away or or judge them because that person might just need help. You know, and I just want to say that for anyone who is, you know, been through the same situation as I have in my past, um, you know, don't be quick to judge people like us because we do want to change, you know, and there are much more people out there like me that want to change and, and live a normal life, so please don't be quick to judge, you know, because you never know, that, that person could be your president one day. <laughs> <laughs> but you know you never know you know we, we live in a mysterious world and I guess you know people like myself are always reaching out regardless of what position I'm in I'm still always reaching out I'm still getting help till this day and I'm you know what I'm not even ashamed to talk about it now I'm confident and I've come a long way from being, you know, from being, <laughs> you know, not from, I've come a long way from not being confident to being confident today, you know, having low self-esteem and low confidence in myself to being who I am today. So I just want to, you know, say thank you to 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 you guys out there that are supporting me and supporting this channel you know and i appreciate you know all the love that i'm getting and i just want to say thank you again so until tomorrow i'll see you guys then adios